Okay, Jeff, take it because I'm crying. <laughs> We do have some rainfall uh, moving on in as we head through uh, this upcoming weekend. Chances of that rain that has definitely uh, started to change. We're learning some new information about that and I'll have that for you in just a bit. I did want to start off with that wider look here at the weather pattern and uh, a lot of different layers going on. We do have tropical moisture from Tropical Storm Marie well out here in the Pacific. Some of that's actually getting caught up into the flow and moving into Southern California and we have this smaller coastal system that's helping to pull pull that moisture up here into the Bay Area. Now there's no rainfall with it, but you've probably seen that increase in cloud cover today and it's all coming from that complicated pattern. Uh, now the other thing this weaker system near the coastline is doing is going to drop our temperatures tomorrow and also get the fog going at the coastline. So let's get a look at that fog. It's going to be a lot more widespread than we've been used to. So that's the change for tomorrow morning. I want you to be aware of and even the chance here of some spotty drizzle right near the immediate coastline. So clouds to start. Then for the afternoon, we get that sunshine back. It'll be hazy, though, as that smoke remains from uh, the wildfires that are burning to the north of us. Temperatures will begin cool with those clouds down to the 50s, widespread 50s from the South Bay over to the Tribe Valley right here over the East Bay, 57 and the North Bay down to my coldest temperature at 52 degrees. Now that system I talked about near the coastline, that's going to drop temperatures tomorrow three to six degrees, so it's going to be noticeable. I know you're going to love the forecast tomorrow. Down here in the South Bay, instead of those 80s and 90s, we are at 77 in downtown San Jose. That's going to feel really great to you. Over to the East Bay, no more 90s. Down to 84 in Livermore, 79 Martinez, 76 Vallejo, Oakland in the 60s. More of those 60s continue right here across San Mateo and Daly City. San Francisco also 50s and 60s coming back with a little bit stronger westerly ocean wind out of the west at 17 miles per hour. And right Right through the North Bay on the fire lines. We're also dropping it down to the 70s and that'll be good news for that firefighting effort. So dry tomorrow temperatures drop, but what about those rainfall chances? Not good news for big rainfall for us. It's now emerging. There's two different paths with our storm system on Friday. The first path would be closer to us. That'd be better rain chances. The second path would be more off towards the south and that would be a little bit of a drier system. So here's what I've done on my seven day forecast. I've kept rainfall chances in, but it's a scattered chance chance on Friday, a spotty chance on Saturday. Stay in the 60s in San Francisco. For the inland valleys, we're also dropping it down to the low 70s with a scattered chance of rain on Friday and a spotty chance on Saturday as well. The good news in all of this, no 100s coming over the next 10 days, and that is exactly what those firefighters need. Of course, we'll be tracking more of this coming up at 6 o'clock tonight.